Welcome to our educational video on infection control. In this series, we will explore the critical measures needed to prevent hospital-acquired infections, a significant concern in healthcare settings globally. Infection control is more than a protocol. It's a commitment to the safety and well-being of every patient, healthcare worker, and visitor within a hospital. Implementing these measures can make a profound difference in patient outcomes. Hospital-acquired infections or nosocomial infections occur during a patient's stay in a healthcare facility and can lead to severe complications and increased healthcare costs. Mastering infection control practices can reduce the incidence of these infections and improve overall healthcare quality. Throughout this video, we will delve into various aspects of infection control, from identifying common types of infections to effective prevention measures, all with insights from healthcare experts and real-world examples. Let's embark on this journey by understanding why infection control is paramount. Stay with us, we explore essential strategies for infection prevention. Hospital-acquired infections or nosocomial infections occur when patients contract infections during their hospital stays. These can cause prolonged stays and increased mortality rates. In the United States alone, around 1.7 million hospital-acquired infections occur annually, leading to approximately 99,000 deaths. The public health impact and economic burden are considerable. The most common types include urinary tract infections, surgical site infections, pneumonia, and bloodstream infections. Each type presents unique challenges in prevention and treatment. Understanding the prevalence and consequences of these infections is the first step toward effective infection control. As we proceed, you'll see how identifying the causes of these infections is crucial in formulating preventative measures. Hospital-acquired infections, or HAIs, can stem from numerous sources within the hospital. Contaminated medical equipment, healthcare personnel, and other patients can become vectors for these infections. Understanding their origins is essential for effective prevention strategies. Infections can be transmitted through direct contact, airborne particles, or contaminated surfaces. Each transmission method presents unique challenges in a busy hospital. Risk factors include a patient's weakened immune system, prolonged hospital stays, and the use of invasive devices like catheters or ventilators. By comprehending the sources, transmission methods, and risk factors associated with HAIs, we can lay the groundwork for efficient infection control measures. Our next segment will delve into the hurdles healthcare professionals face in combating these infections. Stay with us as we uncover the multifaceted challenges ahead. Despite best efforts, healthcare professionals face numerous challenges in controlling infections. Resource limitations often mean inadequate supplies, making it harder to maintain hygiene standards. Overworked staff and understaffing exacerbate the situation, leading to oversights and errors. Compliance issues are another significant hurdle. Policies and protocols may be in place, but ensuring adherence across all personnel levels can be challenging. Lack of awareness and workload pressures often contribute to these issues. These challenges impact the overall effectiveness of infection control measures. Addressing them requires commitment, education, and systemic changes. Stay with us as we explore effective prevention measures to mitigate these challenges and create safer hospital environments. Preventing hospital-acquired infections requires a comprehensive approach, and at the top of the list is proper hand hygiene. Effective hand washing can dramatically reduce the trans transmission of infections from healthcare workers to patients. Next, we have the sterilization of medical equipment. Every piece of equipment that contacts patients must be thoroughly cleaned and sterilized. This ensures germs and pathogens are eliminated, protecting patients from infection. Isolation protocols are also vital in preventing the spread of infections within hospitals. By isolating infected individuals, we can contain infections and prevent them from spreading to other patients and healthcare workers. These protocols are crucial in managing contagious diseases and protecting vulnerable patients. Hand hygiene, equipment sterilization, and isolation protocols are fundamental measures. When properly implemented, they can significantly reduce hospital-acquired infections. These practices are essential actions every healthcare facility must prioritize to ensure patient safety. As we move forward, 
you'll see the critical role healthcare workers play in maintaining these prevention measures. Continuous training, adherence to protocols, and role modeling are essential in upholding high standards of infection control. Healthcare workers are at the forefront of infection control. Their role is pivotal in preventing hospital-acquired infections. Continuous training and education equip them with the latest knowledge and skills. By adhering to established protocols, they minimize the risk of infection spreading. Moreover, healthcare workers serve as role models, demonstrating best practices and setting standards for others to follow. This combination of education, adherence, and role modeling creates a robust defense against infections. As we proceed, you'll see how educating patients and involving them can further enhance infection control efforts. Educating patients about infection control is essential. When patients understand the measures needed to prevent infections, they can take active steps to protect themselves and others. This involves practices like proper hand hygiene, recognizing signs of infection, and adhering to post-treatment care instructions. Encouraging patients to be proactive in their healthcare creates a collaborative environment where they are partners in their own safety. By fostering this involvement, healthcare providers can greatly reduce the risk of hospital-acquired infections. Patient education is a powerful tool in infection control, empowering both patients and staff to work together towards a safer healthcare setting. Let's explore how real-life examples highlight the positive impact of these strategies. In this segment, we take a closer look at real-life examples and case studies where effective infection control measures have made a significant difference. By examining these success stories, we gain valuable insights into what works and why. These case studies showcase a range of infection control strategies implemented across various healthcare settings. From stringent hand hygiene protocols to advanced sterilization techniques, each successful case offers unique lessons learned. One hospital's commitment to thorough hand hygiene practices reduced their infection rates by 40%. Another facility saw a dramatic decrease in infection rates by incorporating comprehensive sterilization processes for all medical equipment. Through these examples, we identify best practices that can be replicated elsewhere. Consistent adherence to infection control protocols, ongoing staff training, and a culture of awareness and responsibility are recurring themes in these success stories. But it's not just about following procedures. It's also about innovation and adaptability. For instance, one healthcare facility developed a new isolation protocol that minimized patient cross-contamination, leading to a substantial drop in infection rates. These real-world examples highlight the importance of a proactive approach to infection control. By learning from what others have done successfully, we can refine our methods and enhance patient safety on a broader scale. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into practical strategies and expert insights in the upcoming segments. As we reach the end of our journey through infection control, it's time to turn to our experts for their invaluable advice and recommendations. Our specialists have dedicated their careers to mastering infection control. Their tips are simple yet powerful. Prioritize hand hygiene, maintain meticulous sterilization of all equipment, and implement strict isolation protocols where necessary. These strategies are practical steps that can be integrated into any healthcare setting to protect both patients and staff. Our experts also emphasize continuous education and adherence to updated protocols to stay ahead of emerging threats. Looking to the future, our specialists advocate for ongoing research and innovation to tackle new challenges in infection control. As we move forward, your role in implementing these expert recommendations is, is crucial. Stay tuned for a recap of the key points and a call to action that will empower you to make a real difference in your healthcare facility. As we've journeyed through the complexities and solutions of infection control, it becomes clear just how vital each step is. Effective infection control is paramount in preventing hospital-acquired infections. From understanding the risks and challenges to implementing strategic measures, every action counts. We have discussed the importance of hand hygiene, equipment sterilization, and the crucial role healthcare workers play. The lessons from real-life case studies showcase the power of dedication and best practices. Now it's your turn. 
whether you're a clinician, nurse, or healthcare support staff, implementing these measures is not just a recommendation, it's a necessity. Let's move forward, limiting the spread of infections and ensuring safer healthcare environments for all. Take these insights and apply them in your daily practice. Your commitment can save lives. Remember, every effort in infection control makes a significant difference. Together, we can create a safer future.